I'm Sabin Lomax. Every weekend, I'm traveling to a new city. How's it going? And giving three groups of aspiring food truck owners the chance to open the food truck of their dreams. We've met our goal. In their hometown. Whoa! These teams will build menus. We slices. need 75 slices of bacon. Race around the city. Baby, let's go! And compete for customers. Tacos, tacos! And the best spots. Hey, look at this line. We got it going. They'll attempt to outcook. Smoosh it. And outsell each other in a series of challenges. All right, order in, order in. For a chance to win $10,000. Make it rain. To put towards their dream food truck business. <laughs> let's do this! This weekend, I'm in Dallas, Texas, where Mr. Po'boys, Oh My Guac, and Walking Noodle are about to find out how demanding the food truck business really is. I don't have time to clean that up. Who will become Dallas's hottest new food truck? Ray, come on! There's only one way to find out. Let's do this. Welcome everyone to the great food truck rally. Guys, I'm not gonna beat around the bush. Your dream food trucks are right over there. Go check them out and meet me back here. All right, go, go, go. Each of these teams was asked to send me a sketch of what their dream food truck would look like. And now they're about to see those dreams come to life. Woo! Oh my God! Oh, your pigtails. That's it. I could not believe my eyes. That is the truck that I designed. I love the hat. I love the hat. It is the most surreal thing. It was gorgeous. Watch out, Dallas. Man, it look good. Hey, man, this is our truck right here. I see this big yellow truck with my name, Mr. Po' Boys, on the side. Hey, that's you. Hey, hey, look, look, hey, look, look. It was stunning. No way we can be stopped. We gonna Po' Boy Dallas up. I'm getting a little misty out of it. <laughs> we here, baby. Look at this new one. I love so it. Cool. Look, rocking your chase buds one bowl at a time. I love it. The truck is more than any of us ever imagined. It's amazing. Are you gonna cry? Are you, are you gonna cry? I wouldn't change a thing. We could totally win with this truck, guys. This is so awesome! <laughs> hey, guys, let's go! <laughs> Dallas is a great food city. We have more restaurants per capita than any other city in the country. First one, that's got to mean something. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. And go, Dallas go. hasn't quite hit the food truck scene yet. I think we have a huge advantage because we know our city like the back of our hands. I think it's a slam dunk. Your truck is supplied with everything you need to succeed, except for food. <laughs> Here's 350 bucks for each team. All right, okay. Shop for all the food you'll need for the entire weekend. This is your only chance to stock up. I'm excited about the money, but we do have catfish and shrimp. Those can be some high-priced items, so we have to watch our budget. Guys, think of this competition as one giant relay. And I'm about to send you out on the first leg. You'll have 24 hours to sell as much as you possibly can. And the lowest earner will be eliminated. OK. That's right. Only two of you are going to move on to the second leg of this rally. OK. We're going to make it happen. Guys, one team has the chance to be the next great food truck right here in Dallas. And it's yours for the taking. Go get it! Our rally is underway, and our newbie teams are figuring out how to stock a food truck for the very first time. We gotta have a game plan at the grocery store, because everything's gotta be like triple the recipe, quadruple the recipe. How many customers are we gonna serve? That's gonna be a challenge for stay-at-home mom Stephanie, her husband Jared, and her best friend Misty. It's Stephanie's dream to serve food professionally, but she's never done it a day in her life. Stephanie's been at home for 10 years raising our kids, allowing me to pursue my dreams. Now it's her turn. So Stephanie's whipped up a menu of pure Tex-Mex comfort food, and that starts and ends with one delicious dip. My guacamole recipe has been in the works for a few years and is on point. What's gonna be, if you think, people's favorite dish? Sorry, we just took the wrong exit. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's talk about strategy. When we get there, we're gonna go ahead and shop for all this stuff. Walking Noodle is having no trouble planning their menu. 
I think we just focus on the three dishes. That way we can maximize our time, okay? That's because Liz, her sister Uno, and their best friend Hannah all have experience in professional kitchens. Now, they're putting their skills together to help start Liz's dream food truck business. And so what if I give you a budget of 150 for so, all the meat? All the meat, okay. So I need to get pork belly, mm -hmm. skirt steak, and chicken thighs. Right. My sister and I are Thai, and Hannah is Vietnamese. So we're taking all of our favorite flavors and making a Thai-Vietnamese fusion noodle truck. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait to. Man, I'm just so pumped right now that we're fixing to go get everything that we need real quick. We're going to be on it. Cedric, Esther, and Ryan met in culinary school and have worked steadily in the food industry ever since. Hey, market man, it shouldn't be too far away from here. It's like, go for it somewhere. Let's knock this out real fast. Now they want to work for themselves, and they think they have the perfect product, Louisiana-style po' boy sandwiches. Dallas does not have any po' boy food trucks that I know of. I don't even think they have po' boy sandwich shops. So we're going to take over. Slow down. Stop. You stop. You stop. Get the button. Get the button. Get the button. Come on, go. Let's go. Dijon mustard that's going to go in the Remy Lodge. Got that. Mr. Po' Boys is going to take over the Dallas scene because it's fresh, it's new, it's unique. Chipotle is in right adobe, there. right here. You will have chicken, fish, and steak. Put them on a spicy Chipotle mayo, top it off with tomatoes. You got your winning sandwich there. We're going to go ahead and eat the flank steak. Our food is so special because we like to mix and compose a lot of different flavors. We are at 91 right now. All right. So when you take that first bite, you hit sweet, spicy, savory. I mean, all these different types of flavors in your mouth all at one time. We need the cornmeal for the hush puppies. Yeah. Is that on this aisle? That's on this aisle. Yeah, I found it. We gotta win this. Okay, here's the Asian food section. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. I get two of those. The pho noodles. The great thing about doing a Thai Vietnamese fusion is that traditional Vietnamese soup is pho. It has a star anise, the cinnamons, really warm spices in it. Brown sugar is here, here, brown sugar. And Thai food has a lot of more fresh spices, like um, the lemongrass and the ginger. Once you put all of these flavors together, you've got like this earthy, fresh, like it's spice. flavor explosion. Time is money. Let's go. All right, come on, let's go. OK, first thing. Let's go get the let's avocado. Go. I know Tex-Mex. I know Mexican food. It's my culture. It's who I am. My favorite ingredient has to be avocados. Avocados are the good fat. You don't buy unripened avocados. You got 14 more. I need to buy, get put 14 more in there? Yeah. Okay. I knew that the bacon guacamole grilled cheese needed to be on the menu. It's okay, we slices. need 75 slices of bacon. I know that my chicken tortilla soup is awesome, so I've been told. I'm looking for seasoning. I know that I can make a mean taco. I decided to make a Frito burrito, that's my kid's creation. So I'm so proud to have that on my menu. You look flustered, it's gonna be all right. I know, I've Remember. never shopped that fast okay. in my life. Don't worry about it. All right, let's roll. Let's, let's go. go. With only 22 hours left until the elimination, our three teams are trying to find a location so they can start selling. Trinity Groves is busy, and there is a brewery over there. You good with that? Yeah. Trinity Groves is an up-and-coming area in West Dallas, and the reason we chose this is because there's a good lunch crowd, and there's plenty of parking. We're going to be at Trinity Groves at about noon. Is it okay if I tag you on social media and you share it? Yeah, I'll totally plug it. Yay! Oh, yay! Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. What's the name of the place that you want to go to? Dallas Market Hall. Our strategy right now is location. And the location needs to have a lot of foot traffic. Dallas Market Hall has a convention going on right now. Dallas Market Hall, four minutes away. We're headed to the location now. Did you go ahead and text all the people, let them know that we're coming? Yes, I've already got everybody texted. Um, I've already told everybody to tell their friends, so we're good to go. Baby, let's go! Let's go! Let's get this! We headed to the Uptown. There's office buildings, and I know a lot of people that work there. So I figured, hey, I can call them up. Go ahead and make that hush puppy batter since you need that the most. I told them to text everybody that they know. It should be packed by the time we're ready to go. Hey, uh, it's dead over here. Nobody came out. Then the rain started coming. Man, is it raining? We don't know if it was the rain if it was the time. What time is it, man? We're just wasting our time over here. 
We gotta think of something fast. This is a very, very bad start. I don't know if this is gonna work. Right now, three teams are out on the streets of Dallas, competing for their very own food truck business. Mr. Po'boy's found a location. It's dead over here. But can't find any customers. I think we should really go somewhere else. Oh My Guac found customers. This is Dallas Market Center. But couldn't park. Where would be a good public place? Well, this is all private property. Right. And Walking Noodle was set up in trendy Trinity Groves. This is where the excitement starts. And it's almost ready to start selling. We've got the broth going. We've got all of our garnishes going, all of our herbs going. Our signature dish is going to be the walking bowl. You've got the noodles on the bottom. You've got the ginger chicken on top with all of our herbs. And then our pho broth. And the best part is we top all of our bowls with our walking crack. You want to taste the pork fat? Mm. It's the best part of the walking crack. Fried pork belly, fried shallots, fried garlic, and white pepper. And it's the most addictive thing. Like, I wake up wanting to eat this. So, like, I want a bowl right now. <laughs> oh, shoot, my finger. Ouch. This is the last thing I need right now. Are you going to cry? <laughs> it's on the corner right here. Any spot available, and we're just going to park. We are actually from Fort Worth. So for this competition to take place in Dallas, we're a little unfamiliar. You can go a little faster. I feel like we are wasting time at this point, but you know what? I have a friend who has a store in the West Village. We're in business. There's a lot of foot traffic. Bingo. All right, let's go, let's go. All right, let me start prepping. Got one for you right here. Extra, <laughs> extra walking crack. Thank you, ladies. What's up, ladies? Oh my god, it's Sadie! How's it going? How's it going? What's going on? This is Trinity Grove, so I figured this would be a great way to, to capture people for lunch, but the rain kind of put a damper on it. But there's a lot of new but stuff. you're selling hot soups. We yeah. are. And it's raining. Yeah. Right. That sounds like you have a leg up. Are you posting photos? We haven't okay. posted any photos. We've been too busy cooking. Oh, yeah, you got to post like the photos. Your fans. Yeah. yeah. The crack that goes on the bud is like my favorite thing Whoa. in the entire world. Really? <laughs> That's a garnish? That's a garnish, That's a garnish on garnish. top. Ooh. That's the crunch aspect. Saban's very encouraging. Hot soup on a cold day, how can you go wrong? But he did suggest that we do a video of how we put our dish together. Mm, it's so tender and good. You have to come try a walking shame bowl. Okay, we'll see what happens. I'm slicing and dicing right now. The name of our truck is Oh My Guac. You can't open for business until you have guacamole. My mom hates guacamole. She hates it. She uh, refuses to eat it. So where did you learn to make it if it wasn't I made it. I don't need nobody teaching me how to make nothing. The ingredients are avocados, limes, cilantro, onions, tomatoes, and jalapenos. Mush it and mush it. Cumin and chili powder normally does not go in guacamole. And those are the two key ingredients. Does it need any more lime? Mm. I think it's awesome. The bacon needs to be cooked, the ground beef needs to be cooked, and the chorizo needs to be cooked. Got it. I have four different dishes to make that require four different prep times. I need some sugar in there. A Frito burrito, chicken tortilla soup, bacon guacamole grilled cheese, and chorizo tacos. It's a lot of work. OK, we're going to catch up, guys. We're totally going to catch up. Here we go. Door number one. Hey. Open. Yes, go team! Woo! We're live! First time! Where are all the people? The timing is off. Lunch is long gone. Happy hour is not quite here yet. There's no one on the street. Would you like to try our food truck? And I'm going to just ask people to try Steph's food. Would you like some food? Would you like to try our food truck? But you're parked so close. Are you running for our taco truck? Would you like to try our food truck? I can do that. Ah, come on! There he is, my very first customer. I have been waiting for this day forever. It's really good. Good. And he likes it. Yay. 
On a cold day, who wouldn't want a cup of chicken tortilla soup? Spread the word. Tell your friends. I made someone happy with my food. I can make more people happy with my food. An uh, order of grilled cheese coming up. Here's your chips and guac. We are in a groove right now. My wife's cooking. I got the money. Misty's bringing in the customers, and we're finally doing some business. I'm excited. Thank you for coming by and seeing us. I think the grilled cheese is definitely a 10. Got a little spice and kick to it. I like it. Thank you, sir. Thank Appreciate you it. Much. Take it easy. Have a good weekend. It's getting a little later in the day. Let's go head over to Deep Ellum and see if we can catch some of that foot traffic over there. What they doing? What's out here? What are they? What, what we got going on right here? We have to go where the crowd is. Deep Ellum is full of bars, clubs, restaurants. We knew it was going to be packed. We are going to need to park right here. God damn it, Cedric. Wow. Where, where it go? I don't know, but it came clean off. We're not selling at all. Too much time has gone by. This isn't looking good at all. It's right there. We have no idea what the other teams are doing. Let's just throw it in trouble. And if we're behind, it could be lights out, Mr. Poboy. What a day. Come on, man. All three of our brand new food truck teams are racing to sell as much as they can before tomorrow's elimination. Mr. Poboys has had a miserable start with no sales and one broken light. Let's just throw it in trouble. Walking Noodle got off fast with a strong social media campaign. Thanks for finding us. And Oh My Guac struggled to find a location and is now trying desperately to catch up. I'm used to cooking for my kids who all want different things every night, but never on a time constraint. Hey! Oh my God! Hey! hey what's, what's up, up? man? <laughs> I would say the best thing is probably Steph's award-winning tortilla soup. Really? As she won at the local state fair. So wait a second, the, she won the award here in Dallas? In the very first competition she ever competed in. That's huge! Right. Well, you guys need to tell people that. You need to market that. Why didn't I think of that? I didn't know you had won an award for the tortilla soup. You know, I don't like to brag. Come on, you gotta brag. This is I the know, time to bad. brag. Start <laughs> bragging. And it's probably something I would have thought of eventually, but this is a crash course in food trucking, and I needed that little tip. Have you been marketing online, calling people, social media, photos of the food? I want to see you make some phone calls. Get someone on the phone and tell them you need their support. BJ. Oh. Hey, it's Stephanie. Um, I am in a crazy situation <laughs> and... She's in a crazy situation because she's operating a food truck for the first time. Every single time you operate a food truck, day one is crazy, day two is crazy. The first couple weeks are crazy. Thanks, girl. Your friends and family want to support you. I'll hop in here. Okay. Team on three, guac on three. One, two, three, guac! All right, go get it, let's go. Black and catfish is spicy now. Sounds good, spice it up. That'll work. All right, coming in, Mr. Blackfish. The Mr. Blackfish is a blackened catfish with our own special blackened spices with our chipotle remoulade and our special spicy pickle red onion cilantro lime slaw. It come with two hush puppies and they are jalapeno cheddar bacon. You like spice? Sure. All right, one Mr. Blackfish. I have a Mr. Blackfish spicy for my man John. Deep Ellum taught us something. We couldn't just rely on word of mouth and take some people we know. We had to go somewhere where it was a lot of foot traffic. Yo, what's, what's up, guys? How you guys doing? doing? Hey. What's up, old boys? What's up, what's up, what's up what you doing? Doing? Tell we me how it. it's going. To, come on, tell me. We finally, we finally find a spot yeah. where it's like we finally selling. We finally uh, getting rolling. Tell me about the neighborhood, guys, because this neighborhood looks vibrant. It looks like there's tons happening. A lot of foot traffic, a lot of bars, a lot of eateries. Tell me about the menu, guys. What's special? What's different about the menu? Tell them. Go, don't, go down and show the man. All right. Now, the Mr. Thompson, who you looking at? Oh, you oh, know oh. it. Uh, flank steak. Uh, fried egg. That's the fried egg. Oh, yeah. Spicy so the fried egg okay. with the spicy remoulade. So once you bite into it, the yolk just 
goes over the steak. And you okay. like spice or you like I the like spice? You like spice? I like the spice really like loud will go perfect with that. Like this is a salesman. Yeah, <laughs> this is a salesman. <laughs> like He's a front man. You want the napkin or you want to use the fingers to like still get it in your mouth? Right? 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 Use my shirt. Man. shirt. <laughs> now watch out now. Don't hurt yourself on this. Watch the eyes close. <laughs> oh yeah. Don't forget that hush puppy. I told you. <laughs> wow, that spice is amazing. You like it? Mr. Po' Boys delivered a 10 of a sandwich. Tender, flavorful, spicy, nice soft roll. They're fun, they're engaging, and they're welcoming. That's what you need to have at a food truck. If you have good energy, you're going to have more customers. I'll see you guys soon. All right, be waiting. All right. I'll do a Mr. Blackfish. Mr. Blackfish. Yeah. Mr. Blackfish spicy for my girl, Christy. Two Mr. Blackfish sandwiches. All right, selling, selling, selling. Let's get it going. It looks so good. It is going to be really good. Thank you. Hello? Hey, guys, it's Saban. Guys, it's Saban. Is it? I know you're all racing to make as much money as you can, but I'm about to shake it up. Running a successful food truck is about adapting to the taste of your market. Dallas has the largest Korean American community in Texas. I didn't know that. Did you know that? I did not know that. So I want you to incorporate Korean cuisine in your menu. OK. Kimchi is Korea's national dish. My personal favorite variation uses the Korean radish. Do you know what kimchi is? Kimchi. 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 Make fresh kimchi. Apply it to your menu. Sell it as a $10 special along with your regular dishes. OK, we have to make a kimchi with the Korean radish. There's a phenomenal Korean marketplace in the heart of Koreatown. That's where you're going to get your ingredients. You can find the recipe in your truck's glove box. Got it. Once you've shopped, shut down for the night. You can start selling again in the morning. OK. And remember, the team who sold the least by tomorrow at noon is going home. We'll do it. Good luck. And go get it. All right, thank you. Thanks. OK, let's go, girls. OK, it's there it. it is. We got it. We found it. <laughs> OK, we got a plan. I need to figure out what this is. I don't know what this marina is. We got this recipe for this kimchi, and half of the things I can't even pronounce. It's got like plums in it. Let me ask her. You're part Korean. <laughs> I mean, don't you know how to make it? <laughs> <laughs> I know how to eat it. Mashiljong in the mashiljong. Anchovy. Oh, we're oh. 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 learning so much. Bottle for uh, anchovy, <laughs> green onion. Yes, right, right. But, but bigger, bigger. We now have our list. Okay. Let's go back to the produce to get the daikon radish, because that's the main ingredient. Come on, let's go. Let's be back in the game, baby. Right. Come on. We are looking for moves. What is omoidu? Oh, OK. We're trying to make a, a Korean kimchi. Kimchi. So what would be good? You want the big one? All right, perfect. Thank you. We get the ingredients from the store. That, that was a big relief. Thank you very much for everything. Because the day we had, it's time to get some sleep. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. It's day two in Dallas, and I've told our teams they must find a new location to park their food trucks. Day two, baby, let's go! Let's go, let's get this, baby! Walking Noodle is headed to Oak Cliff, where their friend runs a fitness center. Well, I've worked out here before, and I know how intense the workouts are there. The first thing we say when we get done is, what are we eating so we can replenish? That'll be perfect. Oh My Guac is driving to the Bishop Arts District. This part of town specifically has been completely revitalized. It's kind of a hipster, trendy place to go. And so is Mr. Poe Boys. Oh, look who's in front of us. We got company. Where you want to park? You see anywhere you want to park? We got to find a spot before they do. Oh, man. Come on. Our teams in Dallas have all found a place to park. I hope we can get some people out here, right? And are racing to make as much money as they can before noon. Girls, girls, grilled cheese. That's because I'm going to send the lowest earning team home. How y'all doing today? All right, have we eaten? And I've thrown in another wrinkle. All the teams must add a kimchi special to their menu. 
I'm gonna get all the prep for the kimchi out. Got that first ingredient in there. We decided to do a brown sugar glazed chicken to go with that kimchi. So basically making like a simple syrup with this glaze. Brown sugar simple syrup. So then that way when you bite into it, you get a nice, savory, sweet, spicy type of dish. So I'm doing about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Get that flavor in there. About a, about a teaspoon of ginger. Chopping up the scallions. So this fish sauce, you don't need that much. Sure, <laughs> so, no. But that's about a third of a cup. Go about a third of a cup of this coarse grain salt. Try to hit that up right. You want the spice of the chili flakes? So we're gonna do about a half a cup of that. Plum sauce, we're gonna do about a cup of that. Chop up this huge Korean radish. Just a little bit. That's looking beautiful, man. Mr. Kimchi, just need that slaw on top. <laughs> Pretty nice amount. Beautiful. Ready to roll, man, ready to roll. Hello. Do you hear about us on social media? How are you guys? Yeah, oh, you guys great. look so warm. You're so cute. Oh my god, we just filled two of our feature dishes. We decided to put big chunks of the kimchi radish into our bowl with the noodles and all of our fresh herbs. We're gonna sell it as a kimchi walking bowl. This is the feature dish with the kimchi. It's yeah. buff, but it has that Korean twist. I love it. I'm trying to figure out the best way to make it look authentic, but also the right size. Kimchi. Gotta go on the taco. The chorizo is soft. The radish, it's crunchy. Two different textures. That's gonna go together. Kimchi tacos, it's today's special. Get three tacos. They're our first customers that want to order the kimchi special. Kimchi taco coming up. So good. She loves it. That's my first time having it, kimchi tacos. <laughs> Yay! That means a lot, because I really honestly wasn't sure how well it would do. Hey guys, would you like to try our Pro Boys? So, do you like spicy? I do. All right, we have a kimchi special for $10. Okay. It's my wife and kids, man. I haven't seen them in a couple days. It's been, it's been some long hours, you know. That right there is what it's for. We all have kids. I have two daughters, and I'm competing for not just myself, but for them. <laughs> My little girls, they never seen me at work doing what I, I love. I got three Mrs. Kimchi's. When my family showed up, I felt like I got my mojo back. I mean, I, I needed that. Come here. <laughs> love you. Jared, look, she wants the kimchi tacos. Oh, wow, adventurous, huh? Okay, we'll get two. Two orders, OK, $20, $20. <laughs> I love you! They're tasting our food. They're buying it. We have a crowd around us. Can we try the avocado grilled cheese? Absolutely. I can tell you hands down, this is the best guacamole I've ever had. We got these steak and eggs. Yes. And Thank we you. have the fish. Awesome. Thank you so much. It's crunchy, a little spicy. It's amazing. Hello. Hey guys, it's Saban. Hi, Saban. Hi, Saban. Oh, what does he have to say now? I'm worried. There's only one hour left to sell. And then one of you will go home. But before that happens, I'm gonna make all of you move one more time. What is it saying, man? This time, I pick the neighborhood and the location. Make it good. The next stop is 1600 Main Street in the downtown central business district. Oh. You all need to sell head to head for the last hour. So we're going head to head with the other trucks. It's your last chance to make as much money as you can before the elimination. So it's going to be fast and furious. Good luck and go get it. Thank you, Saban. OK, bye. Location. We're heading towards downtown Dallas. Perfect. Woo -woo! We can do this. People are going to be out for lunch. There are people everywhere roaming the streets. This is a good thing. This gives us some excitement and energy to feed off of. Yay, we're here! Oh my gosh! I'm ready. This is it. I am so ready to get this started. Hey, let's ready, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We can be ready to roll. Hey, we need to get that board. Clean that board and write on the board. On it. I don't have knives. Where did I put the knives? Oh, here they go. Right here. OK. So if you want to go out there, Misty, and start driving traffic, okay. just right. tell them that this food is better than these other two trucks, OK? <laughs> Seriously. Okay. OK. Hey, guys. You like tacos? Who doesn't like tacos, right? Would you like a bowl of soup? Give it a try? Yeah, I'll try it. Woo! 
We got a bowl of tortilla soup. All right, coming up. I'm just connecting with people, and people are starting to come over and listen to what I have to say. Grilled cheese and a Frito burrito. Perfect. Smoosh it together, put it in the toaster okay. oven. Penny, can you slice the steak a little bit thinner next time? Yes, I will. We can't even make orders fast enough to accommodate people. Tacos, tacos, tacos. All right, all right. How y'all doing today? I'm good, I'm good. You want to try a po' boy? Come over here and talk to me for a second. Walking noodles, they sell noodles. Oh my guac, they sell guacamole and tacos. We sell meat. We know about beef. Flank steak, that comes with a fried egg. It's a little spicy. Lettuce and tomato. Hopefully this can put us over to beat the other team. Sounds good? Yeah. All right, order coming in. Hey, look, ask them to stop. Hey guys, y'all hungry? I've always wanted a food truck, but having to actually chase people down the street and tell them to come and like try my food, it's a little bit different. I have to go kiss the baby really quick because I love kissing little babies. <laughs> Where's the baby? Hi. Come on, we don't have time to mingle. You gotta get customers. <laughs> Uh-oh, we got some people at the corner. We got Ryan in his element. A lot of people, a lot of foot traffic. Are you on tour? No. Do they stop and eat? No. Why, let me see the schedule. Why not? The boy can sell. See, look, your whole crowd said they're hungry. Let's do it. We're going to go with which one? Mr. Ryan. All right, that'll be $9. All right, order in, order in. Yes, let's go. They're selling a hell of a lot of po' boys over there. Try to grab customers okay. walking by. Hey, guys, how y'all doing? You guys hungry? I want the triple X bowl. Triple X bowl and waka shame bowl. Yes. It's do or die because we want to move to the next round. We want to move to the next challenge. And it's stressful. I know, you like tacos. I see it in your eyes. Seven dollars. I think we're head to head with, well, I don't think so. I'm not even worried about it. Oh my gosh, check the time. We only have a minute left. Drop that chicken now. All right, man. We're running out of time. Are you coming to try some tacos? We, we can't go home. We're not going home. Keep them coming! Hey, guys, you want to try a bowl of noodles? Hey, yeah. can I get a grilled cheese sandwich? Yes, you can. Got a new one coming in, Mr. Thompson. $8 out of 20. What do you guys want to order? Very good. Thank you very much. One more, baby. One more, Ryan. One more. I don't have time to clean that up. People? Out. Yeah, this will be the last one that we get out. What this? What's this? Barnyard. This is barnyard. All right, all right. Time is up. Get it. The challenge is over, and I feel great about my team. They did exactly what I thought they would do. All right, I got to walk to the car. See ya. Right now, I'm feeling pretty good about where we are, but at the same time, I'm not sure what to expect. All right. It is a mixed emotion moment. One of us will be eliminated today. Hi guys, running a successful food truck business is being able to roll with the punches and handle whatever comes your way. And you all did, so congratulations. See, I'm saying y'all. I'm from Texas now. Y'all, y'all made it here. Feels good. Man, nerve wracking. I just wanna know what everybody did so we can know if we're still in this race or not. Okay, the food truck business is all about getting people excited about your food and turning that excitement into actual dollars. Let's find out who sold the most food in the last 24 hours. Because as you know, the team who made the least is out of the race. Congratulations, Walking Noodle. You made the most money with $453. You are still in the race. We've really worked very well as a team. We've been in sync. First challenge, like, every single day just keeps getting better and better. The team with the second highest total and safe from elimination is... Mr. Paul Boys. Yes, <laughs> yes! <laughs> you made $438. You are still in the race. Congratulations. Woo. Woo. Yes! Step back off the top. 
Oh my guac, you made $409, a tremendous effort. Thank you. But unfortunately, you are now out of the ring. Please hand me the keys to your food truck. Okay. I'm so proud of my team. I want some of that tortilla soup next time. You got it. All right. Misty doesn't cook the way I cook. Good luck, guys. Jared doesn't operate the way I operate. But we were able to come together, and they trusted me. They trusted my menu. They trusted my palate. That was huge. Congratulations. Good job, guys. It's important for me to teach my kids how to cook, to be proud of what they create, to make it their own. And they now can see Mommy doing what she loves. I did it. Like, I was able to cook. <laughs> People pay for it. <laughs> Mr. Paul Boys and Walking Noodle, you are still in the race. Congratulations. Yeah! Yeah! The final challenge begins tomorrow morning, and you're going to be selling breakfast. You're going to have a very early morning start. Oh, and there's one more thing. You can only use the ingredients you have on your truck, so you'll need to get creative. <laughs> this time, the first team to hit $200 and cross the finish line on the Continental Avenue Bridge will win the great food truck rally. Who wants that $10,000? Go get it. Go, go. <laughs> It's day three in Dallas, and both teams are headed to areas where they think they can hit the $200 sales goal first. We're parking in front of a really popular coffee shop, so maybe we can get some of the patrons because the coffee shop doesn't sell any food. We're like one cell away from winning. We need to get this. We are going to make this happen. Walking Noodle chose the spot in Uptown. We cannot let our followers down. And Mr. Paul Boys is about 20 minutes away in the Kessler neighborhood of Dallas. Let's get this one! Let's get this stuff now! We're headed to a mixed-use building that has apartments and restaurants. I did a lot of texting last night. I called my pastor, I said a little prayer, and I said, hey, grab the whole congregation, I need them. We hope your prayer didn't hit the ceiling and bounce back down. <laughs> It's two of you guys. How about we do one of each? Sounds good. That's awesome, awesome. And I have one Mr. Rooster and one Mr. French Toast. Got it. We have to make a breakfast item. So let's do the Mr. Rooster. The Mr. Rooster is a pancake batter dip chicken breast, along with a nice fried egg with our chipotle aioli, sliced tomatoes on our French roll. Get those out. Then we have our Mr. French Toast. French roll, dipped it in our French toast batter, and we took the prime rib that we had, cooked that to perfection. Who doesn't love French toast? Our sandwiches can go for breakfast, can go for lunch, can go for dinner, can go for brunch, go, go parties, bar mitzvahs, shindigs, whatever they need us to do, we got it. This is it before we get to the finish line. You know, we have to treat this like we did yesterday. Right? We just go out there and just work as hard as we can because obviously we do not have your typical breakfast item on our menu. That's the chicken noodle soup, you know what I mean? The yeah. one that mommy used to make. I love mom's ginger chicken. This walking cure bowl is our mom's recipe. This bowl cures everything. It makes you feel better. It's like a magic potion. We got tons of ginger, onions, garlic. And what I'll do is that we'll boil it down, then we'll strain it out so we'll have a nice clear broth. We don't have anything for breakfast. We have no eggs. So we have to think about how are we going to sell our noodle dishes for breakfast. Yeah, who knows how the other team's doing because I don't know what they have on the truck. They might have like an amazing like breakfast sandwich well, or something, you know what? right? That means we need to pick up our game. Our final two teams are trying to reach the $200 sales goal. Coming in, order in, ding! Once they do, they can race to the finish line at the Continental Avenue Bridge. Hey, look at this line. We got it going. This is our hometown. They got to come through big. Hey, man. All right. Appreciate you coming out, Jack. Brian, we halfway there, man. Let's all do right, this. All right, that'll work. We're cooking. We're rolling. I have a Mr. Thompson and a Mr. Rooster, $20 even. Got you. Come on. Two Roosters going out. 
We're closer and closer to the finish line. We are currently sold out of the Thompson. Do you guys want two of them? I think one. We'll, just one? Yeah, okay, we'll that's, share it. That's just ten dollars. What okay. is your name? We've got one more. Okay. We are at 128 right now, so we're just 72 dollars away, and we do have more people coming right now. So hopefully they can make it before we reach that goal. God, I wonder how the other team is doing. Hey, what's the count? Where we at? We're at 180. We need 20 more dollars. 20 more dollars. There you go. Yes. 190. Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, ten dollars more. Okay, one more bowl. You go, Chief. Thank you for coming over here now. Hey, we need one more. One more. Last one. Come on, baby. We got it. We got it. You helped us reach our goal today. You did. It's coming, it's coming. Uno, give me a to-go list. We've reached a $200 sales goal. We have no idea where Po Boys is. Order coming out. Last order, last order. There you go. Turn this damn truck up. We got to go. Turn up the propane. All right, let's close it up. Let's go, let's go. We got to get to the bridge. We've worked hard together this entire weekend. I want to win this for all of us, you know, and just to show our kids, like, you know, you can do anything that you want. We're about to get over the bridge. It should be there in about five minutes. All right. Okay, see you there. Bye. Welcome to the finish line. Yeah. Are you guys excited to see your families? All I can think of is walking noodle can be already there. We gotta haul ass and get to the park. We gotta reach saving first. We have to. Ryan, hurry up! All right, here we go, here we go. where Waka Noodle is, if they're up there or not, but Sandra just takes off full speed. <laughs> You're the first team! <laughs> oh, man. We won. Congratulations. Unbelievable feeling. Where my people at? <laughs> oh, you did it! You did it! Sharing this moment with my family, with my friends. Thank you. You're welcome. I mean, it's phenomenal. Yeah, clap, clap, clap. It means a lot that they were there. Best day of my life. <laughs> we did our very best. We've hustled. We've cooked our heart out. Consolation yeah. prize. We're so <laughs> And put some very great food out there. Hi. Hi. So extremely proud of the three of us, and we're not done. Thank you, thank you. We're just gonna take everything that we learned and just keep pushing through until we get there. Congratulations, Mr. Paul Boys. You showed a lot of talent and a lot of heart in this race. And now you've won $10,000 to help start your own food truck business. How does that feel? Yeah! 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 yeah. yeah. That's the challenge. <laughs> this was huge and things are looking very bright for Mr. Po' Boy, for us. I tell you what, let me drive this time. You got it. <laughs> Watch out, Dallas. Here come Mr. Po' Boy. Yeah.